this is the solar and battery optimized system. The solar and battery optimized system's focus is on load shedding during peak hours of energy consumption without utilizing rolling blackouts or sacrificing customer service. During these designated peak hours, the device will usually activate and discharge a battery in order to support your load. This also saves the consumer energy as well as protecting the utility power group from overloading. The system takes advantage of machine learning algorithm to optimize the system. This device's operation is mainly designed for use in Las Vegas, where electric service customers usually experience sunny weather for most of the year and sweltering hot summer weather. This plays a huge role in the demand for alternative power sources such as solar panels to offset the cost of maintaining a reasonable temperature in these summer temperatures. The system was designed with high demand rates during the hottest parts of the day during the summers in mind. Coupled with solar panels, a battery can serve as a tool in reducing the cost for electricity for the customer, as well as reducing the strenuous load on the power grid to help prevent outages for an even wider range of customers. This module can be installed in existing battery and solar systems, as well as even used standalone with a battery. Currently, batteries are advertised as a solution to provide power in the event of an outage, as well as supplying power to your house when it's nighttime and the solar panels are actively producing power. More advanced systems have a user interface that allows the user to choose specific times to discharge their battery. Specifically, Tesla very recently came out with their Opticaster software that is included with their Powerwall battery line that uses machine learning to forecast loads as well as generation. Though their engineers have designed an amazing algorithm that even includes support from their cloud system, this limits people to purchasing their products for access to this kind of software. This is a quick system diagram of what is expected to be used in conjunction with our device. Solid state relays affect your battery as well as a Raspberry Pi will be controlling these switches. The solar panel and the battery and then the inverter as well as a DC to DC converter are typically what is already seen on existing installations. Within the two-part algorithm that is housed within the Raspberry Pi, it follows this logic diagram daily. First step is to predict the next day's load schedule. The next is to consider the predicted excess generation. This will then charge your battery at night according to the predict predicted generation. It will leave a little bit of space on the battery to be able to accommodate the excess generation. There is also another algorithm alongside the machine learning algorithm that will be able to compute the ideal time for your battery to discharge. Then it will discharge the battery at that following time. So how does this model work? Support vector machines are machines that try to find the line that separates two different types of data. However, for our purposes, we aren't using the machine to separate the data. Rather, we will be using the machine to find a line of best fit in order to predict what a user's energy usage and generation may look like at a given point in time. This type of model is called a support vector regression model, which is what is used in this application. Some advantages are that SVR models are accurate and easy to import on a Raspberry Pi, reducing hardware usage and learning time. A disadvantage is that SVR may become weaker if datasets become larger. Overall, we determined that SVR can yield a suitable model when trained on sufficient data. And in our case, we were able to predict the daily forecast of your load to 93% accuracy. Using the model, we were actually able to predict the kilowatt hour versus day of year of a property. On the left is the actual kilowatt hour versus day of year, and then on the right is the predicted kilowatt hour versus day of year. And again, this accuracy is at 93% accuracy. Now combining that software of machine learning model, as well as our hardware, we are able to simulate a few cases. This first case, excess generation is a credit is applied for the day, since a customer generated more than they consumed from MV Energy. For, with no battery, the cost for the day was about $8. However, with a standard 10 kilowatt hour battery, which is standard for home use, it was about $5 a day. In this following case, excess generation credit is not applied for the day since the customer generated less than they consumed from MV Energy. Therefore, every, any excess generation will be returned to the grid with no benefit to the customer. With no battery, the cost for the day was $75. However, with the 10 kilowatt hour battery, which is standard for home use, it was about $70 a day. Some improvements for the future. Ideally, we would be able to read instantaneous loading parameters so that way our machine learning algorithm would be able to learn on the spot. 
We would also be like to include non-load related data such as weather and irradiance curves. We would also like to test on a larger scale system including a higher wattage DG system and a larger battery that could help designers account for unseen variables that may contribute to less savings. We would also like to conduct thorough testing of equipment in hot environments.